All right, g'day guys. So tonight I'm playing around with Realmworks and a, an application called Serenscape. Uh, for anyone who's watched my videos, you may recognize that I've played with Serenscape before, uh, but last time I played I was just in the, the demo mode, uh, basically just testing out the functionality. I had a, uh, a game on the weekend where I really wanted to sort of try playing with audio again. Um, I wasn't satisfied with the last time I did it, so I thought I'd have another crack, uh, and this time I had a moment of weakness and thought, you know what, I'll just grab my wallet out and pay for a subscription to Serenscape. So I uh, thought we'd take the uh, take the advantage of the situation uh, and basically show you guys around the uh, the Adventure Pass subscription method that you can get into Serenscape and show you what you can get, and also show you how that sort of integrates with Realmworks and how easy it is to play music and audio. So let's jump over and have a look. Alright, so in front of me you can see a new screen. Uh, this is Serenscape. Uh, this is running in the Adventure uh, Path uh, module, um, or sorry, subscriptions. So uh, for anyone who hasn't seen this software before, you can go over to their website. Alright, and uh, from the store, you can see there's a couple of different subscription models that you can get into. So there's the full one. Alright. There's the uh, the one I've got, which is the Adventure Path. Uh, seems to be tied quite heavily in with Pathfinder. You can get a storage, uh, a server storage method, or you can actually just buy the packs individually. All right, I'm assuming once you buy it, you own that pack. All right, so this is what it looks like with the Adventure Path subscription. You can see here that I've got all the sound sets turned on. All right, and you can basically scroll through and find one that you like. So. Uh, when you find something, you can basically just come along uh, and click it, and you can download it. All right, you can see they're, they're relatively small. It doesn't take too long. We'll download one as an example. So as you can see, it just uh, smashes it out in the background, uh, which means you can pretty much come along, pick the music you want, click to download, and, and set it off going. All right, so once it finishes download, it basically updates to let you play the sounds. Um, and as you can see, it's all very quick and efficient. Here we go. Actually, I've got an option turned on. I'll cancel that. So I can click, it, click a button, and boom, the music starts playing. While I'm doing that, I can come over here and play some sound effects to integrate. And different packs have different um, different options. So here's the, uh, the dungeon depth one, smashing a wooden door. All right, you can see I can play different options from different different packs. I can modify the uh, the volume of these packs. All right, or I can play in the various options. All right, down here's a uh, a series of sounds that basically are. Um, sit over everything else. See some generic ones. Uh, these are a bit... probably a bit silly for my words. Um, they're a bit too... fake. I, I'm kind of more interested in the realistic sound effects for my games. So, probably not something I'll get a lot of use out of. But they're there. Alright, so as you can imagine, it's really quite a handy program to have, and having the uh, subscription basically means that I can go through and find whatever music I want out of everything that's available, uh, download it and prep it for my session. Um, and I really like to be able to do that. Um, but, obviously, I'm a, I'm a Realmworks user through and through. Um, uh, and basically, what I really was interested in is how do I, I get the music playing from Realmworks. So, let's have a good look at that. So we'll jump over to Realmworks. Alright. So here's the adventure I was running. We're running the, the Plunging Torrents. Uh, you can see here's the module text uh, as you'd expect to see it. But down here you'll see a table uh, that should stand out and has been quite different. The table is how I was controlling the music. So, to show you how well it works, if my player splashed into the water, I can click this button and you can hear it's actually them splashing into the water. So in a uh, plunging torrents dungeon where people are walking through the water all the time, that was really quite a cool sound effect to have. When they got out of the water, I could play the out of the water sound effect. Um, if I wanted to change the music to something that was more suitable for 
a water dungeon. I just got to pick the soundscape options here and off it went. Alright, so that's really easy. Now, how did I do this? Uh, Serumscape, um, these guys uh, are mates with Realmworks to my understanding and they've worked together to make this possible. So, over in Serumscape, we'll go to the installed options. These are all the packs that I have installed. And here's the Gen Con one. And you can see here that you can come in here and you can click a button and you can play their sounds. Alright, but that's not what I want. I want to play this out of Realmworks. So we click the little button down here, the little tools option, and it says third party app integration. We click enable. Oh, it just gives you some, uh, some sounds there. And I can then come along and go grab that plus one and just click it. And you can see up the top here it says link for complete chaos copy to clipboard. Alright, so here I can take, uh, oops, I'm editing. I can type the name of uh, the sound, and in the hyperlink I can paste that hyperlink. And now, when I want to change the music, I can just click a link to one I've already prepared earlier. And you can hear it fades out, and then it'll fade back in. Now the mode above the eye may be a little bit quiet for us to hear, so we'll turn it back up a bit. There we go, and you can hear the water sound in the background. Uh, while I've got my music playing, I can play my sounds. Once again, this is just a URL that I created using the new plus buttons. All it does is copy it over, allowing you to paste it into Realmworks. So, I did it in two places. I started in the mechanics section. I, I made a uh, Serumscope soundboard uh, article or source, and then in there I started basically creating little tables uh, effectively for every page uh, that I downloaded. All right, and then from there I basically replicated the names and created URLs out of the links that I copied over from Serumscape using the plus buttons. All right, so it's very easy to do. Now, the reason why I've put it into little tables uh, was so that I can actually cut and paste these. All right, so for anyone who's watched my previous video, you'd know that the big issue I had with the audio is that I wanted from the, the page that I was reading of the adventure module, I wanted to be able to click a button and have music play. Um, but really what I wanted to do was be able to have my, my audio set up in the back end of my mechanics section. So I've got a database of audio so that my pep prep time reduces over time, so I, I only have to do it once, you know. All I do is come along and type the name of the song I want to play and create a link and you could play it, but it didn't really work because, you know, it creates a link that goes to an article that has a sound file that you've got to play, so that didn't really work. Using Serenscape, I'm able to achieve the efficiency I want, um, just not at the price point I'm interested in paying. Um, so I think this is $6.50 per month uh, under my current subscription. That's not something I'm interested in, in, in keeping, I guess. Um, you know, I don't play often enough a month to, um, to, to see that as basically been worthy, uh, to be honest. Um, but I like the fact that it works like this. So I think I'm going to continue to use Serenscape. I'm just going to change the way I do it. But I really, really, really did like the fact that I could come in here and create the link and boom, I can have my splashes and my sound effects. I think that's a really cool feature. Alright, so let's just have a quick talk about what I think I will do. Instead of paying for the Adventure Pass subscription, which is $6.50 per month, I think what I'll do moving forward is actually come in here and identify some packs that I'm interested in having. So might be at the swamp pack, I might get an inn pack, I might get a forest pack and an underground dungeon pack. Um, you know, if I get the $3.99 ones, I'm going to get much better value for money uh, doing it that way, given we only play about once a month, um, and we're generally within, you know, pretty repetitive places. So we might have five sessions in a dungeon, we might have two sessions in a water dungeon. Um, 
I don't think I'm ever really going to use all of the sounds that come in this uh, subscription model. So I think that's going to be a lot better value for me. Um, but yeah, uh, it's obviously quite easy to do. Um, by having it, I'm pasting basically the names in the table. And obviously what I'm doing is basically replicating all of the names for the sound. Then all the names for the uh, the effects I can play, and I'm putting you know one in left column, one in right column. I think that's really quite easy to set up. It's really quite efficient, and the benefit is that I can you know I can use these in two computers. So I do my prep on my main PC, um, which means on my main PC if I want to test it, I need to install Serenscape. If I want to play with Underwater Dungeon, I have to install the Underwater Dungeon pack. All right. Um, if I want to move to my laptop, I know that I now don't need to install the Underwater Dungeon Pack on that as well, and then the links from Realmworks will just work. And I think that's really cool. So once I have the two packs um, in Serenscape synced up, um, I can just click the link in Realmworks and it'll work. All right. And Serenscape, it, well, it is obviously downloading the music, it's downloading copy, um, which makes it nice and quick to play. So overall, it's quite efficient. But no, all right. So that's that's basically uh, where I was heading with uh, with my music. Uh, it lets me play sound. I to play music on the table. Uh, I think my players really appreciated the fact that it was quick. Uh, the last time I tried to play with music, they complained that it took me too long to get to the music. Uh, and I guess if you've seen my previous video, I, I go into a full explanation on why I think that occurred. Using this method, I think it works. Uh, I'm quite happy with that. So. I think I'm going to stick with Serenscape. I think that has won me over as my sound player of choice uh, for my role-playing games. And it really is simply because they've got the Realmworks interaction, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of sound companies out there. Uh, they all do pretty much the same thing. But these guys have made it so that I can link it from Realmworks, which, yeah, that, that hands down is a benefit. So there you go, guys. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's... Um, it's uh, not a super technical uh, video. If you've got any questions, queries or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, apart from that, have a great night.